everybody, I'm Rick Beato. So the line that I just played was a collection of ideas put together from different concepts I've talked about in other videos, including in my Instagram channel. I try to take a bunch of different ideas and make it into one continuous idea. This is actually a great thing to practice, is to take concepts that you've acquired from different, uh, you know, from playing over different types of chord changes or different scales, trying to combine all the ideas into longer phrases. Now that was over G7 altered, which is really from the A flat melodic minor. That idea would actually work over any of the chords in A flat melodic minor. Like could be A flat minor major seven, could be B flat dominant seven with sus four flat nine, could be in B flat Lydian augmented, could be, could be D flat seven, it would be a mix, mix sharp 11, mix Lydian flat six, it could be, would be a F minor seven flat five. For example, it could be E flat seven, could be dominant seven with the flat six in it. Let me talk about the line here and talk about kind of what ideas I'm putting together. So I started out, I just transcribed it. I was improvising it, but I was improvising it knowing what kind of things I wanted to string together. So I started out the line like this. I played. So I'll. That was an idea that I talked about in a video about playing vertically on one string. Um, so I'm playing all these notes of, of G altered dominant or A flat melodic minor all on one string. So I started out on the root of this G altered chord. Then I go into this repeated octave lick. So I'm using this. I talked about that in a recent video, how to take recurring octaves like you would do on the piano. But the line I played, um, it actually has an odd grouping to it. Here's the first grouping. And then the second grouping is the same thing up the octave. So. The next section actually connects multiple positions of the scale, starting with this position up here. That's G alter dominant or A flat melodic minor. So I'm using this position, this position, then here, then that position. Then I go. This is kind of hard because it's a big stretch. Sets up this A flat. And then into this E flat add nine pattern. Same thing down a half, uh, down a whole step. So here it is. Uh, so I'm playing hammer on on the A string, hammer on on the G string from the eighth to tenth, eighth to tenth, then sixth to eleventh. It's a big stretch. It's odd grouping. So I did a. Once again, I'm going down one string like that. That's how you really get to know these positions. Next, I begin with a three note per string scale pattern based off G, so G altered. And I play pick, pick, hammer. And then I get into the up to here to D flat. And then I start the descend, so. I come down, it goes like this. 
That's the first part of it. I'm doing a third to second to first pull off. That's how you get it to sound like it's really seamless. That's the only chromatic spot in there. It's the only chromatic note I played in the whole line. So I played a passing tone. I did A to A flat. So here's a whole descend. So I'll let me play from here. Once again, the whole thing, I'll play it slow. And. I could have added an additional idea. I could have gone from here. I could have gone into the suspended, which would be a really cool pattern to play over that G altered. really cool using this it would be a B flat sus4 or B flat 7 sus4 and then I could have done I could have actually added that at the top part of the line. That may be something for you to try. The same principle can be used in the major scale as well. I could actually just adjust one note and play the same idea. So, so let's say that I change it from A flat melodic minor to A flat. So I move instead of B natural, I move it up to C. If I start on G, I think of it as like an E flat seven chord, but over G. So you can do use this exact same line if you go in and you adjust every note by one every uh, B natural or C flat and change it to a C natural. That'll give you a line that you can use over any mode in the, that would be out of A flat major. So E flat mixed linear could be D flat Lydian, right? That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're interested in the Beato book, which is full of these kind of ideas, you can find it on my website at www.rickbeato.com. Also, you can get the tablature to this video if you're a member of the Beato Club. Thanks for watching.